Replacing broken snaps on your boat canvas is actually a lot easier than you think. I say it's easier than using a microwave. I really think so. I was actually very surprised whenever I needed to do this. My canvases are old. They're in pretty bad shape. I was actually gonna replace all my canvases and I realized that was gonna cost me a few thousand dollars. A few thousand dollars. And other than some frayed parts or whatever, for the most part, it was, there was a lot of broken and missing snaps. As I pulled off all of the broken snaps, I realized I had five broken snaps on my bow cover. The kit to replace my broken and missing snaps is under $20 from Amazon. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so laying our bow cover here inside of the house, Here's a couple of the snaps. As you can see, these are rolled, and there's the inside and the outside of the snap, and there's another one. And here's one of our missing spots right here. Now, the snap clearly just broke, and the holes are not all ovaled out. They're not elongated or larger than they need to be, which is great. So what you can do in this situation is you can easily just replace the snap. I put some wooden surface down so that way I protect our counter. Got myself a hammer. And here's the snaps that I got from Amazon.com. I bought ones that are just for replacing these boat canvas snaps. There's a lot of different kits that you can buy out there. This kit here comes with the screw-in part that goes into the actual fiberglass of the boat where a snap clips onto. And then the outside cap part, which has the brass center ring. And then the inside that fits over the snap that's mounted to the fiberglass hull. The way these work is this part sits on the outside of it with the shiny side up and on the inside where that brass ring is, that fits through this hole on the inside of the snap that's placed on the inside of the cover. And then we use the tool to flatten that one piece out. And all of that snaps onto the pin. Here's the tool they give you. As you can see, it's cone shaped and that fits into that little brass and pushes that brass out whenever you hammer it. And then there's this dished little block right here for you to put the the cap into so it doesn't get bent up okay let's go ahead and do one of these now so we put the little metal disc down which is where the outside of the button fits put the outside of the button in there put the inside in set the tool in the center there and wrap it with a hammer until that brass flattens out a little bit and they're no longer loose on each other. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Brand new snap on there. You can also use this tool to repair some ones that are loose, that are getting ready to give away. So all you have to do is the same as you would be with installing a new one. Set the smooth end of the, of the snap in your little metal solid dish part. Put the tool in the top and give it a few taps to be able to snug one of these that's getting ready to break back up again. These original ones are not brass in the center. I'm not sure what they're made out of. Obviously they broke. They take a few more taps to be able to get them to seat back the way they should be. So there was one of these that I really couldn't replace. The canvas had torn too much where basically if I was to put a new snap on here it's going to just come right back through again because the canvas has a tear in it and the piece would actually just flop right back on off of there again. So this area here actually is gonna require a canvas patch and stitching up the canvas for patches is not something we're doing in this video. I mean, over time, these things do break. So yeah, periodically you're gonna break some snaps on your canvas, but with this little kit, you can just replace any of the snaps that are broken. I'm not worried about whether or not these new snaps last a lifetime. The kit I bought has, I think, 50 snaps worth of replacing. I'm probably doing about 20 of them right now, so that leaves me 30 more to have for the future. Basically, this is just another one of those not very hard things to do on your boat at all, not expensive, and uh, you know, you get the pleasure of doing it yourself. There's some other things that are like that, like this video right here. Check that one out.